Welcome to the World Tarot. Today I have a message for star seeds regarding the age of Aquarius and what it means. And I've been hearing a certain poem in my mind a lot lately. And um, the poem is not in English, but I tried to do a, a crude translation of the poem. It goes like this. Our sky can see a rising star. Its light can shine upon us, but it took billions of years for waves of light to reach us. Now, when it illuminates our path, it is no longer with us. So the age of Aquarius, this has been in the making for a very long time. We have traveled here to this planet for this particular time so the, that we can see something coming into fruition. Our sky can see a rising star, so for, for us it looks like it's, it's a new beginning, right? But the light has been traveling for billions of years until it got close enough for us to actually see the light, right? Because the, the light travels it's it's uh, both a wave and a particle. That's why I said for waves of light to reach us. Uh, if you look at Aquarius, the the way that Aquarius is depicted, it, it's a man who is pouring water, making waves. So the star is this god in the sky, pouring the waves, and the waves are coming through the galaxies towards us, where we are now. So we have been traveling also. Our souls have been traveling for different places in the universe. And we all gathered today, here, for a certain purpose. So nothing is random. Nothing that's happening right now is random. Our sky can see a rising star. Its light can shine upon us. So the light was always there, but it, it hadn't reached the place where we are right now. But the star, which was creating the light, doesn't exist anymore. It died. Because it took billions of years for the light waves to come here. So a seed was planted long ago. And now we will see the fruits of this seed. It now illuminates our path, but it's no longer with us. So let's ask the cards more information about this. What is this star? Can we describe the star, please? What is the star? What is the star? The King of Pentacles. It's a planet. It's not a star. The King of Pentacles is the King of Earth. Nine of Pentacles, a lonely planet. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, it's a planet, not a star. It's it's a boulder in the sky, okay? <laughs> Six of Swords reversed. It, it's gone. Its light is no longer um, sending light waves towards us, right? Water. Waves. Waiting for the water to come. So we've been waiting for this light to shine upon us. And this is like... We have all ages here. We have a child, an adult, and an older person. What is the message? What is the message the light is shining upon us? What is the message the light is shining upon us? What is the message this light is shining upon us? What are we supposed to see? What is this light illuminating? What is the message? What is this light illuminating?
the power of creation we have. We're not just a meat suit. We are spirit. We are love. We are masculine and feminine. We are divine masculine, divine feminine. We are gods. We've been fighting. We haven't been fighting in vain. And the fighting will stop now. In the age of Aquarius, we will stop fighting each other. We will understand our duality, our dual natures. We will accept the opposite within ourselves and that will automatically stop any quarrels we've ever had. The wars will stop because we will understand that wars are pointless. We will find freedom, the freedom we didn't know we had because we were trapped in our bodies but even our body, our, our body can listen to our spirit if we are listening to spirit. We can heal. All the pains and all the sufferings in our bodies can heal. We have more options than we think we do. Every option, every possibility is open to us. The heartbreak. We can walk away from the heartbreak now. We can communicate. We can find a better way of communicating our feelings. And to communicate telepathically. We are all connected by our thoughts, by the way we communicate. So we shouldn't communicate like this. We shouldn't communicate in order to win an argument. We should communicate in order to find an agreement, to find a common ground, because we all, we all are common ground. We are part of the earth, from ash to ash, dust to dust. What is the message? What other messages do we have from the star that we can see today? What are we seeing now that we couldn't see before? What are we about to see in the age of Aquarius that we couldn't see up until now? That the path is clear. That anything we want can come to us as fast as we can think about it. We no longer have to wait for our crops to grow. Now we will see the fruits of our labors. We no longer have to cry over the past. We no longer have to be sad. What are we getting here? Why are we not sad anymore? Because we're dropping our burdens. We create burdens for ourselves because we're lacking self-love, but we will find self-love now. We will find that we are the we are the star, the star that's pouring the water waves. It's overflowing. Each and every one of us is the star, is Aquarius, pouring their cup through the universe, pouring abundance. Even after the star is gone, its abundance is showing up in the universe, helping others out. So once we fill our own cup, we can give eternally. It will never run dry. The abundance we create will never run dry even when we're gone from this world. So we are never gone. What else? What else do we need to hear? It's the end of a very painful cycle. There will be no more pain from now on. This is Judgment Day. This is what Judgment Day is. It's not a day when we are punished. It's a day when we realize that we are immortal. What other messages do we have from the star? Any other messages from the star? Any other message? 
we can finally see eye to eye, we can finally celebrate our differences and what brings us together. One more thing, one last thing, please. Now we can have new plans, we can make new plans, we can cut out the old and build the new. The star is looking at us from above. Its light is shining upon us. They're still here with us in spirit, in light waves, in light particles. This is our union with ourselves. We are coming into union with ourselves. So we are complete. We no longer need to be filled up. We are okay on our own and together. On our own and together. I think that's all for today. I hope this helps. Have a good day. Take care.